Everybody, T.C. Bradley, host of God Made Millionaire TV, and I am honored that you, yes, you, you've chosen this block of time to watch our show, and do I ever have a show lined up for you tonight? If you've got that God-given dream within your heart, this is the place for you to be. I'd like to welcome to the studio tonight, Mr. Kevin Leonard. Kevin is a best-selling author. He's an incredible business leader that is highly sought after and my good friend. I've got an incredible show lined up for you. And without any further ado, somebody crack open that vault and let's get our show started. Kevin Leonard, welcome to the show. Good to see you, TC. My goodness, I am so excited to have you on the show all the way from Minnesota. Hated to leave that warm weather to come down here, but... <laughs> you, know, you know, I sent you a picture of myself in the jacuzzi. I live in Florida, and uh, you're up in Minnesota. I sent you this picture of me in the jacuzzi, and you sent me a picture back of uh, the, the frozen tundra. A couple of feet of snow up on the deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're from Minnesota, a very accomplished businessman. First of all, I wanna say congratulations to you on Thank your you. book debuting number one on the bestseller list on Amazon. So congratulations about that. Thank you, that, that was very exciting. And to see names like John Maxwell up there, the Maxwell Method, and to see my name up on top of his, that was a real proud moment. Yeah, that was pretty exceptional. Tell us a little bit about the book. What inspired you to write that book? Well, what inspired me to write it was really going through life. And I was actually in a, in a little place called The Outpost in Minnesota. And these guys were sitting there after night shift and they were talking like I was 30 years ago. Really? The same complaints, the same things. And I, it was like I just went back in time and I thought nothing's changed. Right. I was compelled at that moment to write that book. Wow, wow. Tell us a little bit about your business background. What is it, what your core business is? My core business is I work with C-level executive teams, top leadership and counseling. We, uh, I'm a member of the Forbes Coaches Council. I write for them some too. So we do our organizational operational design because you're perfectly designed to get the results you get. Right. So we talk a little bit about an intelligent design in the book. We designed it to be more of a panoply of items. So, and you say, what's a panoply? I'm glad you asked. Well, what, <laughs> oh, well, come on, you beat me to the punch, Kevin. What, what the heck, is that a Minnesota term? What is a panoply? A panoply is a, a great, ancient Greek term for a suit of armor. Oh, I like that. Everybody I know writes a book. And what do they do? They, it's on one subject, it's on trust, it's on emotional intelligence. And I really wanted something that would be an entire suit of armor for someone. Right. Well, this sets up the foundation for that blueprint. Right. This talks about self-incorporated. It talks about purging the demons, which are corporate demons, not necessarily right. the ones, but you'll think they came from hell. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. And uh, how to do those every step of the way. There's a lot that I love about you, Kevin. But one of the things I really love is that your old school mentality when it comes to business. And what I mean by that is that old school is, you know, back in the day, a handshake was a man's word, right? Now we have contracts and you have legal ease and all of this, but you come from a school of thought where integrity, accountability to your word, these things are not taken lightly in your universe. And that's one of the reasons you inspire me so greatly is because of your integrity to your spoken word and how you honor that in your life. T can you take us into that, uh, how, why that's so important to you? Well, basically because how, how I grew up. My parents never owned a car or a house. Wow. The public bus line in Minneapolis uh, was as far as we would go. And I thought, you know, we learned from the bad things that happened to us too. And I just never wanted to be the person that had to be afraid to do something, was told I wasn't good enough. And, and I just didn't let anything stop me. What do you think is the biggest challenge in business today from your vantage point? What do you think is the biggest challenge that business owners are facing today in this marketplace? Thinking too hard. Right. What, what they do, they buy all these bolt-on things, the next gimmick or cheap parlor trick. They, they go out and they buy all this stuff. I have this in the book too. I call it the office of thinking up weird stuff. They start out as innovation <laughs> and, uh, <Yeah. laughs> and yeah. they, uh, 
and after a while they come up with some quick wins, but they're not innovating anymore. They realize the bigger empire they can build and the more things they think of, the greater their job security is. Right. But after a while, it, it just as people in the workplace coming in and, uh, and they don't even know why they're doing things anymore. Right. So, and that's when we have to come in and fix this stuff. Right, ideally, who is it that you serve as a client, ideally? Well, this is interesting. I have never taken a client based on, on income. That's where I'm supposed to be. Right. I, I've turned down large contracts, and it, not in the way a lot of people do. You know, some people have a, a real calling from God that says, you know, it's almost like they get the memo, get over here, do this. And, right. And I'm not that guy. I'm, I, I just get this feeling. That, in, yeah, intuitive this, knowing that you're supposed to help somebody you know, in business that needs your assistance and that guides you. Has it always guided you in that way? It has. I've always ended up exactly where I'm supposed to be. Do you think that we get ourselves in trouble as business people when we don't trust our intuition and our inner guidance system? I believe we do. And to tie into what you were saying a little earlier, it ties into the four levels of emotional intelligence. Right. And this is really how I try to live my life. Last night when I drove into the parking lot here, I noticed there was not many cars, dimly lit. So I was in an emotional intelligent level of fear for a moment. Right. And then the next level up the rung is duty. Right, right. And then there's achievement, you know, trying to, to achieve things. Right. But then the highest run is integrity. Right. And you'll make a different decision between achievement and integrity. If I make a decision on my pocketbook, Right. If you base your decision off of your finances. Yeah, then I'm going to make a bad decision. Right. You know, I might put more money in my wow, pocket that's in the deep. short term. And, but if I make it from integrity, as the old saying goes, if you take care of the people, the money will take care of itself. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent wisdom that you're bringing here today. Let me ask you this. Before we go, talk about your family, because I know you love your family. Brag about them for a little bit. Well, I have three children. They're all smarter than I am, of course. <laughs> Wife Lois uh, will celebrate our 45th wedding anniversary. Wow. She's been the, uh, my best friend, my inspiration, my get me out of trouble when I right. tend to get myself into it. Kevin, I love having you on the show today. And I, I wanna thank you on a personal level because you inspire me with your integrity. I can never get tired of talking about honoring your word and your agreements, integrity in business. These are not popular catchphrase words used today in business, but I thank you so much for coming out today, sharing your message to the nations on our platform. We need Kevin Leonard's to share their wisdom, to share their knowledge with us, to help guide us in our pathway. In such a noisy world that we live in, so honored that you chose to come and share with our audience today, uh, It's Kevin. been my pleasure. And knowing our role and where we're supposed to be. It's good to be here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin Leonard, everybody.